In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to integrate Thrive Leads with Google Tag Manager in order to trigger an event in Google Analytics when somebody reaches a different state in a multi-state opt-in form. Recently, Thrive Themes posted a post about how to pixel leads directly from your opt-in forms, and I tried to take the same implementation using a custom HTML element and having it only trigger when the a new state was entered. However, that just was not working uh, for, for Google events as well as triggering that tag. So I had to come up with an alternative solution using Google Tag Manager, and it's a little bit complex, so I thought I would create this tutorial. So first to get started, step one, we're going to go to Thrive Leads, and we're going to create a new Thrive box. You can essentially use any form that you want uh, to execute this. However, you're going to want to make sure that for the purposes of this tutorial, you're able to reach a second state on the form, and you'll see that in just one second. So I'm going to choose a blank template just to keep things simple for this example. And when the form loads, first you'll notice that there's automatically a background section within the Thrive Leads element. And that's good because we're going to want to keep that uh, for later use. So the first thing we're going to want to do is add a lead generation element into our background section. And then we're going to want to create a new state. In the bottom right hand corner, hover over this green circle with the plus and click new state. And this new state duplicated our lead generation form. So we're gonna go want, want to go ahead and just delete that. And then for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to add that this is our thank you state so that we can keep track of that when we do testing later. Now what you're going to want to do is select the background state, and you'll notice again if I click on the text in the upper left here, there is a uh, background section located within the breadcrumbs. So there's a text element within a background section within the Thrive Leads element. I'm going to choose the background section, and on the left hand side I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom where it says HTML attributes, and I'm going to identify the ID field. And in the ID field I'm going to put whatever I want to identify this trigger. And that's the same thing that I'm going to put into Google Tag Manager. So I'm going to call mine multi-step trigger and leave it at that. Okay, now let's go back to our default state. We're going to select our form and we're going to go to main options and we're going to connect this form to a service. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll go ahead and use MailChimp and get that set up. When your form is all ready, what you'll want to do is select the switch state option for the post opt-in action and you're going to want to choose the new state that you created mine is still just named state one and click save we're pretty much ready to go we can just click save work and now it's time to go to google tag manager so for the purposes of, th of this tutorial i'm going to assume that you already have tag manager created and you have the tag manager code that it gives you installed on your website what I am going to do now, though, is teach you how to integrate your Tag Manager with Google Analytics. The first thing you'll want to do is click on Tags on the left, and then click New in the middle. You can name this whatever you want. We'll call ours Google Analytics, and we'll add a new tag configuration. We're going to choose Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. Leave the track type as Page View. And then under Google Analytics settings, you're going to want to click new variable. And this is where you put your tracking ID. This you can find in Google Analytics. That's the GA dash, whatever number that they give you. And then you're going to want to give this a name. I just called mine Google Analytics and press save. I've already done that step. And so I'm going to choose my Google Analytics settings that I saved it as. And choose the trigger to be all pages. I'm going to press save. So there's my first tag. That basically tells Tag Manager to send information to Google Analytics. Now it's time to set up our trigger for our multi-state form. I'm going to click new under triggers. I'm going to name my trigger. You can name this whatever you want. I'll name my multi-step. I'll press the pencil and we're going to choose element visibility. The reason we're choosing element visibility and not form submission, which I would actually prefer, is that for whatever reason, form submission does not work with Thrive Leads right now. But element visibility works perfectly fine for what we're trying to do. Under selection method, you'll want to choose ID. And element ID, this is what we put into that background section ID 
for, uh, for the HTML attribute. So we're going to put that in this field. Remember, I named mine multi-step trigger. And I'm going to have this trigger once. Uh, I'm going to trigger every time an element appears on the screen. I'm going to leave the minimum percent visible to 50. That's fine. I'm going to uh, check the box to observe DOM changes. And all visibility events will remain checked. Now I'm going to save that. And now it's time to apply this trigger to a tag. So I will once again create a new tag. I'll name this anything that I want. We can call this GA multi-step because send this to Google Analytics. So I'm going to trigger a Google Analytics event. Track type event because I'm pushing the event in. And under tracking parameters, the category that I like to use for here is form submit or form submission, because essentially I always want all of my forms submitted to have the same category. So it's my recommendation you keep that consistent. Under action, I like to make sure that all of my actions are labeled the same. So if this is a multi-step form, I want to have multi-step checked. And for label, sometimes you can put maybe where that form was located. So maybe I'll just put home page, assuming that it was on the home page of my site. And for Google Analytics settings, which account do we want to push this data to? We want to push it to the same one that we already created that same location as the page views. So that's all we'll do there. And then scroll down to triggering. And for triggering, we want to trigger our multi-step event. When you're done with that, press save in the upper right hand corner. We are good to go. That's all we need to do inside of Google Tag Manager other than in the top right corner, pressing submit and then publishing your changes. If your organization or if you like to create notes, go ahead and do that. But I'm just gonna hit publish and skip. So next we're going to want to open up a page and I'm going to do a test now to see if that Thrive box with tracking that I created actually works. So I'm going to put a button in here and I'm going to go under animation and action. I'm going to choose the Thrive box. I think I called it sandbox. There it is. Press apply. And now I'm going to save that. And I'm going to refresh this page. You're always going to want to refresh when you do some tests. And I am going to test this out now. So I'm going to push this, type in some test info, and I'm going to submit. You'll notice that our thank you state came up. That's the thank you state that we created. And now if we bring up our Google Analytics, you will see that we have successfully fired in real time a form submit event with a multi-step action. And we can now take this event and we can create a goal conversion that'll allow us to create funnels and all kinds of granular information we'll need in order to track the results and success of the multi-step forms that we've created. So that's all there is to this. Uh, if you have any questions about implementing Google Tag Manager and Thrive Leads, go ahead and visit convology.com and leave a comment in the post of this tutorial. And I would be happy to help you out with any questions that you have about implementation with Google Tag Manager or Thrive Leads. Thanks for watching.